just give you a brief introduction about uh, ourselves. So this webinar is sponsored by Vetfage Pharmaceuticals, a subsidiary of Proteon Pharmaceutical. And we welcome, uh, we have, it is a pleasure to have you all here for today's webinar. Uh, my name is Pooja Goradia and I look after the marketing of Vetfage India. And we have, with, uh, today we have with us Magda, she is the global marketing head of Proteon Pharmaceuticals. Hello everyone. Hello, Magda. So Proteon Hi. Pharmaceuticals, it is an innovative biotech company based in Poland in Europe. It uses the precision biology of microbiome protection to improve the animal and human health. It also eliminates the unnecessary use of antibiotics. Uh, before we begin with the webinar, uh, to have more, uh, uh, to know, for you to know more about the company and you know what are we going to speak about, I will just show you a video about what, uh, why we do what we do. Meanwhile, I think uh, I request everyone to mute their uh, uh, videos, please. Yeah. Kindly mute all the, uh, just a quick rules. Mute, uh, everyone, please go on mute so the speaker uh, does not have any uh, issue while speaking. And also uh, switch off your videos because uh, or else the voice will uh, uh, lag behind and you won't be able to get the flow of the presentation. Thank you. World food production is around 400 million metric tons per year and will double by 2050. Over two-thirds of all antibiotics used are used in food animal production. The World Health Organization considers antibiotic resistance as one of the biggest threats to global health, food safety, and development today. Bacteria are becoming increasingly resistant to antibiotics. We created Proteon Pharmaceuticals, a leader in the development of biotechnology products based on bacteriophages, to help reduce the risk of antibiotic resistance. Proteon's natural antibacterial products protect the health of farm animals such as poultry, fish, and dairy cows. At the same time, our products protect the health of consumers. Our products are an effective alternative to antibiotics in aquaculture and livestock farming. They are healthier, more economical, environmental, and sustainable. Our proposal is to bring bacteriophages to the bottle. They are the oldest and the most abundant organisms on Earth. Bacteriophages' antibacterial potential was already known at the beginning of the 20th century, but it is only now, with advancements in biotechnology, that we can fully exploit this potential. Protean Pharmaceuticals restore bacteriophages to their rightful place as a leading antibacterial solution for human and animal health. We have developed a special platform for the discovery, engineering, and production of bacteriophages for use against bacterial infection in aquaculture and livestock farming. Yes, our products don't cause side effects and don't increase the problem of antibiotic resistance. They are non-toxic and completely safe for use in large populations of animals and humans. They can be used as a prophylactic measure to improve animal health. In addition, they are economically efficient in industrial application and easy to use. We think about the future of all of us. So with this brief introduction, let me quickly let us let us quickly begin for the today's session. I will introduce with the speakers for today. We have with us Dr. Marek Ramanowski. He is the head of veterinary services at Proteon Pharmaceuticals, based in Poland, and is responsible for the corporate global techno commercial support. He is a leading expert in poultry health and nutrition. Hello, Dr. Marek. 
We also have with us Dr. Ramdas Kamble. Hello. Is the director at Medfridge Pharmaceuticals and is responsible for sales in the entire APAC region. He's an expert in feed formulation, technical services, and overall techno commercial activities. Hello, Dr. Ramdas, once again. Hi, Puja. Thank you so much. So, before I hand over the mic to the speakers, let me just quickly run through the agenda for today. So, we will go through the Poultry India snapshot, followed by the use of antibiotics and bacteriophages in poultry. And then we will have the future of bacteriophages in poultry. Uh, don't worry, we are not very technical and we won't just end up with uh, this uh, one-way dialogue sessions. We have with us a Q&A session. I'm sure the speakers are very good, but I'm equally sure, as I see, the audience is also great over here. So speakers, please be prepared for good questions coming at your end after the end of the session. And we have a fun session towards the end. So everyone, please uh, stay on till the end and you know, don't miss on the fun time. So I hand over to you now, Dr. Ramdas. You have the floor. Thank yeah, thank you, Pooja, for the brief introduction of starting with the video of the company. Uh, it's my pleasure to represent a, a company or products and a technology vector pages to the group. Can I take you through the Poultry India snapshot? Uh, uh, there are many experts uh, present uh, uh, in today's webinar. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, you spent uh, spending uh, valuable time. Just like Dante, I will try to mix up Hindi and English. So we are Poultry India. Who doesn't know about Poultry India? So this is third, but the largest egg producer. Uh, we are just behind China and US. Uh, I know sometimes we are afraid to take the name of China, but what can we do? Uh, we are in the business. So we are fourth uh, uh, world largest uh, chicken producer. Again, the China name is coming after Brazil, China, Brazil, and USA. We produce around 75 billion eggs per year, and uh, we produce 4.2 million tons of broiler production. Precisely, if you look at this, so poultry industry is like a corporate sector, and it's adding a lot of value to the Indian GDP. And uh, now this, because of this uh, coronavirus out outbreak, so people, they are, they were concerned and now these things are getting improved. So I think we should maintain and retain these positions uh, even coming time as well. So I will take you through the small uh, brief about the Indian uh, market uh, overview, uh, about the poultry industry. See, they, this is, we generally call this uh, Dr. Rao, uh, or father of uh, Indian poultry industry. So precisely this industry is almost six decades uh, old, or you can say around 60 to 70 years. And we have a lot, approximate five lakh broiler farmers. And these are the presented uh, facts in various webinars, seminars. So you can challenge also, but more or less these are the same. So we have around 25,000 layer farmers. We, oh, okay, this is very important. It's 1,500 1, consultants or the key opinion leaders. And most of the key opinion leaders, especially the doctors, are you know attending the seminar. So we have approximate 700 hatcheries. There are many people involved in uh, many feed companies, the traders, the retailers, and farm staff and veterinary pharma, uh, which is included like something around 10 lakh people. So we, this poultry industry is giving the jobs, or you can say the engaging directly or indirectly, to around 1 million people. So this is small snapshot about uh, the poultry industry, and many experts are there. I should not distill this fact. So but I need to take you through this um, ever-growing poultry industry which is passing through the challenging time, but definitely it will improve. So over to the next slide, Pooja. So then the, the, I will hand over the mic to Dr. Marek. He's an expert in antibiotics and the bacteriophages, and he's from the Global Veterinary Services. So he can tell, take you through the presentation. Thank you so much. Over to Marek. Hello, thank you, Ramdas. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's nice to, 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 to meet with some people I see for, by names, like, for example, Dr. Sika. Hello, the Professor. How are you? I'm very pleased to, to speak uh, to you. Uh, here is very, very light subject, but very important subject, uh, especially in poultry, but not only so for our uh, humanity. It's very important. So antibiotics. Antibiotics and bacteriophages, because uh, we need to know that we have to have some alternatives for antibiotics. And why? I will tell you uh, in short. So, first of all, antibiotics. Uh, discovered in the beginning of the of the 19th century, uh, where 
taken out the first place in the, in the race to have a possibility to treat uh, diseases which are um, till that time was not cured. So discovery of the penicillin was a crucial moment to uh, for the humanity to start uh, fighting with the diseases which were uh, declining the numbers of people around the world. Uh, so so um, penicillin started this <coughs> and a lot of uh, many different substances were uh, discovered since that time. Uh, why antimicrobials, want, uh, why antibiotics are so powerful? Because they they have more than uh, only one target of the bacteria. So they have very broad spectrum. They might have some broad spectrum. We are saying broad and narrow spectrum, but still comparing to the bacteriophages, antibiotics are killing many different bacteria. Uh, the, the way uh, how they are doing this is uh, uh, also um, uh, very, very um, differentiated and, and fragmented. Uh, some of them are uh, inhibiting the, the cell wall um, creation. Some of them, they are messing with the enzymatic uh, processes inside the bacteria, but all of them are uh, used to, to kill the bacteria. Uh, all of them also um, have some, some, some uh, good, uh, good possibilities to, to kill the bacteria which were untreated uh, during the centuries on the humans and animals also. And, but uh, during the years of usage, and uh, it was, uh, let's say, predicted by, 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 uh, by the, uh, different scientists that a lot of germs can uh, take the resistance against the, the antibiotics, and this is what is happening. And that's why, that's why all, all the world, and uh, including also our company, is focusing on the alternatives from the antibiotics. Uh, also, you need to remember that um, antibiotics kill, uh, kill the bacteria without changing, checking if it's good or bad bacteria. So they are uh, also influencing our gut microflora, which, as you know, and the recent uh, researchers in the recent years, are confirming that the gut microflora is getting crucial uh, aspect of immunity, uh, both in humans and um, animals. Uh, of course, we need to remember that there is a possibility that the bacteria will gain the resistance against the antibiotics and uh, uh, both by using or overdosing the antibiotic, overusing the antibiotics, uh, in veterinary and in human medicine, but also they can uh, take the resistance against uh, antibiotics by simply uh, exchanging the genetic information inside their colonies. So using vectors, so using the, the, the exchange uh, uh, actions. And according to the FDA, which this is very important information for you. According to the US FDA, uh, association 80% of all antibiotics sold, uh, which is uh, more or less around 20 million pounds, was used in the production animal. That's why we are here. That's why we invite you, veterinarians and people which are linked with the production of the poultry, because we are on the target from, from different uh, associations. This is about antibiotics. Next slide. Uh, bacteriophages. Bacteriophages were also discovered in the beginning of the 19th centuries, but uh, easy of use of antibiotics and uh, uh, efficacy of the antibiotics and understanding, uh, much more easier understand the way how they are uh, um, working against the bacteria, uh, caused that the antibiotic won this war, but now during the time where the antibiotic resistance is and very huge issue and when the humans cannot have a good treatment because of overdosing, overusing different antibiotics, bacteriophages are coming back. And here we can propose you our um, um, offer from, from Proteon Pharmaceuticals. What are bacteriophages? Bacteriophages are uh, 
the naturally occurring viruses against bacteria. Yes, bacteria can have viruses too. Um, this is, uh, they are the natural organism made up during the uh, years, uh, centuries of, of uh, genetic changes. And uh, I like to name the bacteriophages is the nature way to control bacterial population. So the nature is so smart itself that it develop, uh, she developed, she, I think it's she, uh, she developed the tool which is using to, 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 to uh, suppress the population of different bacteria. How the bacteriophages are doing this? They are uh, doing the scientific researches uh, during years. Uh, we discovered that the bacteriophages had two uh, uh, different uh, life cycles depend of the of the um, of the type of the bacteriophage. First uh, uh, cycle is a lytic cycle, which is most predominant for us. Uh, is this the situation where the bacteriophage is infecting uh, bacterial cell, uh, injecting the um, genetic uh, material inside uh, of bacterial uh, genetic uh, factory and changing, changing the, the biohistory and the production of the genetic material to produce the copies of the bacteriophages. But they are doing this in the so sophisticated way that the result of this change is the lysis of the bacteria. So in other words, bacteriophage is killing the bacteria. Uh, in opposite to this cycle, we have lysogenic cycle. In this case, we don't face the death of the bacteria, only the bacteriophages infecting the bacteria, injecting the new genetic information is changing uh, dynamically uh, quicker or, or slower the genetic potential of the bacteria inside. This is not um, useful for, for us as a um, let's say veterinarian who wants to, to treat bacteria by, by killing the bacteria. That's why our technology in protein pharmaceuticals leads to um, and the, the in, uh, have the possibility or we have possibility, we have power to check Either we are dealing with bacteriophage, which is lytic one, or lysogenic one, and we are choosing only lytic one. Next slide, please. In this short movie, you will see how it uh, goes with the lytic cycle on the on the um, on the bacteria infection. So please put your uh, put on the, the video. Okay. So you can hear, see here that uh, the, the bacteriophage, which is attaching to the bacterial cell and start to inject the genetic materials, which in general change the, the genetic uh, uh, processes in, inside the bacteria to start creating the copies of the bacteriophage, which releases uh, of the leases of the, um, of the bacteria. So this is the, the most, uh, important information about bacteriophages and how it is in confronting to the antibiotics. We can, let's say, Puja, please. Uh, we can, let's say, um, uh, differentiate with target accumulation, side effects, resistance, and uh, um, efficacy in front of the biofilm. Uh, so with the antibiotics, the, the broad spectrum is the, let's say, huge plus and huge minus depends on the situation. Uh, they don't accumulate too much in the life organism, but they are after the use of uh, different antibiotics, especially in, in uh, you know, people like tetracycline, for example, side effects are very, very visible. And of course, what I mentioned, the resistance can show up and is showing up very, very often. And last year shows up that there is a plenty of different bacteria um, families like salmonella or uh, staphylococcus streptococcus which are getting more and more resistant to the most commonly used antibiotics and what about biofilm biofilm is very hard to reach uh, it's by bio, uh, biofilm is let's say a way of of protecting uh, the bacteria uh, against uh, any other um, influence from from external from disinfectants and also including antibiotics so antibiotics cannot reach 
uh, the bacteria which are uh, attached to the biofilm. Comparing to the um, antibiotics, bacteriophages are very, very specific. It's like, you know, American uh, rocket called Patriot, which uh, targets only specific uh, targets, specific car, specific home or specific bacteria in case of bacteriophages. Uh, they can accumulate in the, in the environment. They are living everywhere, so it's not a problem for them. Side effects is not visible at all. We tested our bacteriophages with even 10 times and 10,000 times overdosing the standard dose, and there was no side effect both, both on the, in clinical trials and also in, in vivo. Uh, we, sh we don't know any information about uh, side effects or resistance uh, build up. If there is a, uh, it weighs, it goes, I think, in a more natural use. So when the bacteria is getting resistance against some bacteriophages, the bacteriophages also um, uh, eliminate this, but, uh, but uh, evolve to this to, to start uh, to be effective again. But uh, in our case, we have a cocktail of different bacteriophages, so there is no chance to, to build up resistance against this. And also, uh, bacteriophages as a part of the biofilm also can reach the bac bad bacteria which are attached to that biofilm. So, uh, what is the reality? So, having this in your mind, the whole world. Uh, is thinking about how to how to um, solve the issue with the antibiotic resistance, and the, the main reason is that, as I said, 80% of antibiotics are consumed by animals, 20 are only by uh, consumed by humans. But the having uh, a possibility for having uh, antibiotics and possibility to treat uh, humans, we need to focus on the decrease of usage of antibiotics at on animal uh, production. Next slide. What is happening in the industry? The whole world is, let's say, thinking about the best solution to avoid usage of antibiotic, unnecessary usage of antibiotics, or uh, overdosing the antibiotics. And not only we here in Poland and the European Union, I know there are some people from European Union besides of uh, Polish uh, team and that they can confirm this, but also World Health, uh, Health Organization or uh, European or uh, American Center for uh, Disease and Control uh, are shouting, shouting about antibiotic awareness and antibiotic resistance and they are trying to educate people, educate um, doctors, educate veterinarians, educate farmers about why we should use, if, if it's needed, antibiotic smartly and wisely, not using this uh, without any possible reason. So it is not our idea, it's an idea um, which is worldwide. And here you can see, let's say, example of one of first superbugs, which were, uh, superbugs means so it is resistant against uh, all known uh, antibiotic uh, um, use it to, to cure. NDM1, so New Delhi, uh, which is particularly Salmonella, uh, started in India and spread it across the whole world in few years. Look, in almost 10 years, you, you have the, 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 the scientists uh, diagnose this bug across all globe. So, the problem is growing. It's not only with Salmonella, it is also with the Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and plenty, plenty of other bacteria which are uh, getting the super resistance against uh, antibiotics used in this, uh, in the modern uh, medicine. Uh, and I think, Puja, next one, please. Yeah. That's all from my side. Uh, I'm coming back to, to Dr. Campbell. Uh, he will talk to, uh, tell you about some future bacterial pages. Uh, thank you, Marek. This is very thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, in length uh, information. And now what next? How is the future lies about the bacterial pages? How we are, we are going to you know, overcome these challenges like superbugs and how this is uh, very evaluated as an alternate solution to antibiotics, not only antibiotics, many indirect solutions. 
So Pooja, if you can uh, uh, play on the screen, that will be a great idea. Like, uh, guys, if I ask you the question, hum, uh, Ganga Jal mein kyun aate hai? Probably ever thought about. So Ganga Jal mein isliye, hum, isliye naate hai, ki Ganga Jal ke paani mein ek amrut zaisa chiz hota hai, wo hai nothing but bacteriophages. So people goes to, go to Ganga River to immerse their body to get it cleaned by bacteriophages. I will take you through the how this uh, the uh, medicine or you can say the use of antibiotics and all those things has been taken place. In ancient days, like 1800 and below, see Ayurveda is the oldest science of medicine. We are Indians and all people they used to treat with the herbals and all those things. And there was a preliminary research I just, just now I mentioned that uh, people they used to go to Ganga River and uh, clean their body. So this, this, there was a discussion and this, there was some research started happening in 1915 uh, around bacteriophages. They were discussed, but they never come into the existence and never named they came into commercially viable. And then uh, by the emergence of antibiotics, everything got stunned. So antibiotics must means Rambanilas. So you know if, if we, are, we are the doctors, many people here in the, are doctors. And then uh, in the in the ancient area in the villages, so people used to take antibiotic for everything, even for fever, even for uh, small cough and all those things. So over uses started happening just now. Dr. Mark mentioned 80 percent over uses starting happening in the animals, and only 20 percent. So here is the mix and match, and that antibiotics become a very predominant factor. And in 2015, or you can say early 2000, or mid 2000, so this uh, the research started happening on prebiotics, probiotic acidifiers, or you can say the essential oils and all those things. But let me tell you guys, uh, prebiotic, probiotics, and acidifier, you know what is the mode of action. And they are not a direct replacement of antibiotics in any case. I can bet you, prebiotic, probiotic, they work on the competitive exclusion, Acidifier by maintaining acid pH and essential oil by immune boosting and all those things. So, but these are all uh, indirect treatment. And many, many people, you know, there are some uh, products in the market and they confuse with uh, by using the probiotic, like this chili, this is a subtilis, and they confuse the people that this was like a factor of ages. No, this is not. Now, in, after 2020, so the real this has started happening, as Dr. Marek mentioned, Poland and the Proteon, they, they are the pioneer to get. Uh, of various patents for these factory pages. And probably I would say the, the protein is the only company is having the very, very precision technology on the factory pages. So 2020, I would say this will be the era or this will be the, the, the century of the factory pages. Because when the overuses of antibiotic and the, the what you say, the regular, regular uh, what, is that, what is called uh, FDA approved usage of the antibiotic start happening. So you need to find the solution that is nothing but factory pages. So I dedicate this, this 2020 onwards, the bacteria pages, and you will witness in coming future. Next, Pooja. Okay, I would like to take you uh, now. This is a time, a very dirty time or very dangerous time of Corona. Now, what is happening uh, after this Corona outbreak? So there is a paradigm shift in the demand in poultry because everywhere, like whether it is US, Europe, India, everywhere, people they are promoting poultry as an alternate or you can say the fight against the, the immunity, suppre immunity suppression uh, due to coronavirus. And uh, the price uh, started falling, now it started jumping, but this industry is coming to the stability. So just look at this, food safety is a prime importance after this coronavirus. Do you think now the butcher shops, you know, the, uh, I stay in Mumbai, so I, there are many butcher shops around, but uh, if, if you com uh, compare with the butcher shop, uh, chicken from the butcher shop, and chicken, you are getting it from the hyper city, or you can say Heiko, or the big, big malls, which is very nicely packed, with, uh, what do you say, air conditioned, like the Zora bean chicken or something. I don't want to name anybody's, like the Bode chicken or something. So you need to get the chicken, or you, you will believe uh, to buy the chicken, which is nice, hygienically packed, which is uh, branded like. Uh, uh, antibiotic free or salmonella free, the, the world will come that people they have to brand the salmonella free or E. coli free. And then because of this due to coronavirus outbreak, consumer awareness is at its peak. And uh, some very internet people are there in this uh, call, so they will witness that this paradigm shift is happening. I just wanted to take you through this uh, uh, Times of India cutting. This is a paper cutting, and it talks about superbugs. If you know, Dr. Marek mentioned that superbug story started in 2005, and from Delhi started, and it spread to the world. It's like a wildfire. 
and then it becomes that the antibiotic reactions. So you just look, go through this uh, presentation, or you can see this find. You can find it also in Google. So there are many people died because of the, in the superbugs. So India is under superbug threat, and it is very very dangerous. This is the paper cutting. You will find it in the Google, and the, there is there, there are many people died because of the food poisoning, because of the what do you say even the fever and all those uh, sort of uh, uh, illnesses. So you need to take care. And after this coronavirus, definitely industry is going to witness a very very hygienic practices, and I think we should be prepared for that. Next one, John. Okay, now what we did. We did a various bacteriophages trials in India. See, there are various trials. The trials happened in Europe. Trial happens in US. Trial happens in Brazil. Trial happens in India. So I will take you to the trials we did in uh, uh, India, and we did on all, all parameters. These are basically the, the broiler uh, trials. This mortality, loose dropping, HCR, immunity, food safety, and bird appearance. It's very interesting bird appearance. So wherever we tried, we tried with, through various uh, big, big you know, consultants or big, big doctors and even the poultry farms. Uh, I, I just I don't want to name them, but they're the very good uh, practitioners. They have tried it, and everywhere they got a body weight jump. I will take you the next slide uh, how the body weight jump was. You will imagine they got the body weight increase by something around 150 gram. Just hold on, and we tried uh, on hatchability and egg production in uh, breeders. There is tremendous improvement in hatchability and egg production. And in the commercial layers, egg production, egg shell quality, and egg quality. Egg shell quality and egg quality. So there are various parameters. In every parameter, our products have you know, come to the occasion or they, they stand to the occasion. Now, people they may confuse that whether there are uh, salmonella in commercial layer or not. Believe me, salmonella, the salmonella is very prominent in commercial layers. Especially when it goes to the, what do you say, uh, for uh, egg powder. If you are somebody supplying for the egg powder, so that needs to be certified as salmonella free egg. And in that case, when the branded egg also uh, is coming into the picture, then they have to certify that this egg or table egg is free from salmonella. So, whatever improvement in the balance, adaptability in egg production, even the mortality, even the mortality, we have tested in the mortality also some of the big, big uh, integrators. Mortality also came down in breeders. And commercial layer egg production, egg shell quality, and overall egg quality. So, these are the various parameters. Exposure. Okay, so what was the efficacy? So we have the product uh, buffazal, which is the, the combination of various bacteriophages. And just uh, I will take you through what was the uh, mortality control. Just look at this mortality controls. It was very very nicely managed farm, having six percent mortality, and he was a happy go lucky person, uh, and he was happy with the six percent mortality. When he tried our product. So he got up to 4%. So there is 2% uh, improvement in the mortality. Uh, so the 2% is too quite high, and everybody will witness that. So next, Pooja. Body weight. This is very interesting. I, I, I mentioned earlier in the um, uh, few minutes ago that the person, the, the very big integrator, was getting a two. Uh, kilo body weight 2150 and he got return on investment like one is to three or one is to four so he spent one rupee so he got four rupee return out of that so can you imagine it from two kilo so two two one five zero so 150 gram extra body weight so there is eight percent improvement in the body weight and this i i, I assume that everybody witnessed that 150 gram is a quite a huge increase in the body weight and ultimately that will and the mortality control and the body weight increase will lead to the fcr now the, that's the fcr Next, just look at the FCR. Okay, practical condition where this everything was under control. He was very happy in practically. These were the uh, products tried in the integration farms, and 1.6 was his regular in the FCR uh, by using all antibiotics, his own program, his, uh, various uh, you know even sometimes EC shade also. So in practically, uh, we we got 1.55 FCR ultimately because of the reduction in mortality and improvement improvement in the body weight. So there was an improvement of 3.12% in FCR. So in Brylers, this is making as wonders. You know, Brylers, nobody talks about salmonella, but now I, I came to know that some of the integrators, some of the farmers, they are supplying to the, the food chains like KFC, or you can say the um, big, big malls. 
and they need to certify that the chicken is salmonella free and ultimately when salmonella are e coli we are also coming with e coli so the if we are talking about this definitely the food safety concern and if they have to certify with this uh, salmonella free the broiler becomes very very important so i would suggest if you are getting the wonderful performance in terms of broiler in terms of body weight mortality and fcr and also the production uh, in production improvement and achievability in uh, feeders and uh, egg quality and mortality control in layers this could be a wonderful solution in coming days so this is the future lies with this product so thank you so much and uh, now it's open for question and answer puja over to you now thank you dr ramdas thank you dr marik for the wonderful insights on the usage and over usage of antibiotics and also for the future of bacteriophages in this poultry uh, it does sound very promising with the facts and figures that you stated however i'm sure that our expert audience will have many questions for you uh, so i'll just quickly go through the uh, rules for the question asking the questions everyone please uh, uh, we are open for the question and answer sessions we already have few questions on the chat and i will request all of you to put all the questions that you have on the chat itself uh, to avoid any uh, disturbance we will read it out for you and the speakers will try and answer to the best of their ability uh, let me just warn you speakers we already have our chat box flooded with questions so please uh, buckle up uh, coming to our first question uh, the question is by dr ajay and the question says how many days did phage stays in gut in the active phase once administered so i will answer to this question so you, um, based on our research uh, for the um, thermodynamics of the bacteriophage inside the organism we find out that you, uh, usually when there is a host for the bacteriophages they are multiplicating and staying in the organism for a longer time if there is no targeted bacteria if there is no host for the bacteriophages the dose which is administered to the to the poultry uh, will eradicate from from the organism uh, during next 48 hours so 48 hours is the maximum time where the bacteriophages after one dose stay in the organism thank you dr marek i hope dr ajay you got the answer uh, i mean the desire uh, answer to you as per your satisfaction now the next question next question is from mr shivanan the question says which targeted bacteria it covers and any specific study do you have so uh, bavaza plus uh, plus uh, um, uh, is working against salmonella enteritis and typhimurium and uh, additionally it works against gynarmin consists with the six different bacteriophages uh, two by for the each uh, environment it works also against many different let's say call it exotic one but each time when we have uh, we are dealing with the exotic type of salmonella uh, like java or other uh, we need to find out this uh, is it um, uh, susceptible to bacteriophages or our cocktail uh, in our lab thank you once again dr marek uh, the next question is what are the results results expected in mixed bacterial infection like mycoplasma and e coli infection so as as i said uh, bacteriophages are very precise comparing to the uh, uh, comparing to the antibiotics uh, the, the the spectrum of the working is limited to one bacteria so in case of uh, having the systemic uh, uh, infection or mix infection where the the CFD occurs like mycoplasma e coli and many different bacteria it will kill only uh, or salmonella itself it will kill only salmonella which are uh, susceptible to bacteriophages so in this case we suggest also to use antibiotic in this case or wait a little bit maybe in, uh, soon we will have some solutions also for e coli uh, in India, so I hope uh, it will be uh, a success story, uh, same as with Bafazal. So, in this case, you need to think uh, um, smartly, and when you have, when you are dealing with the mixture, 
infections, you need to uh, also think about uh, additional antibiotic uh, um, treatment to treat the other bacteria which are uh, not killed by bacteriophages. Thank you, Dr. Marek. Uh, we have a lot of ongoing questions, so I'm just shooting one after the other. The next is, can we use acidi acidifier with bacteriophages? Uh, during our research and uh, stability testing, uh, we found out that some of the organic and non-organic uh, acids, but very few, are not harmful to our bacteriophages, but most of the uh, organic and non-organic acids are harmful for, uh, by decreasing the pH. So uh, our recommendation is to, uh, during the administration of bacteriophages, you need to avoid uh, in the same water uh, usage of um, acidifiers. Uh, yes, uh, if, if anyone is not uh, satisfied with the answer, please put again in the chat box. Uh, they will try to answer it more thoroughly. The next question goes as follows. So how many bacteria species does Bafazel plus G work? So the, the, the repetitive question. So as I said uh, previously, Bafada plus is working against Salmonella enteritidis, Tithimurium, and Salmonella gallinarum pulor. Okay. Uh, the next question says, how about dosage of bacteriophages? What about dosage of bacteriophages in multiple phases of broiler growth, considering perfect balancing of that microflora between 12 to 32 days of life? Uh, you know, uh, uh, Using bacteriophages as it is uh, in the same scheme as it was with the antibiotics is, is useful because uh, antibiotics is the chemistry, the substance, and uh, bacteriophages are naturally organisms, living organisms, which are uh, you know administered by by externally by us. So in this case, we suggest to uh, avoid putting um, bacteriophages. Uh, in case of disease, only to prevent the disease. So we suggest to administer since they old, uh, they old uh, chicks throughout the whole life, uh, every other day to 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 have the full protection against the different infections. So putting uh, it is possible to administer also in case of uh, of disease, but usually the disease is the mixture of the different bacteria. So in case of uh, Salmonella and, for example, E. coli, we'll solve issue with uh, Salmonella, but we will not solve issue with E. coli with uh, our bacteriophages yet. Uh, so you need to still think about um, uh, common treatment uh, together with uh, antibiotics or maybe other substances. Uh, thank you. The next question says, how about bacteriophages getting resistance? Uh, Puja, I would suggest uh, please name the question uh, who asked the question okay. because there are many learned people in this group. So, so that okay. they should also, yeah, that will give the uh, excitement to the other people. Like Dr. Okay. Ranade, I have seen, Dr. Prajapati sir, I have seen. So, uh, so there yeah. are many, many people uh, I have seen in the group. So, yeah, there are many people. questions yeah. coming in. Happy. Yeah, yeah okay. the, new, the questions are coming uh, out, but uh, I don't know if we are able to answer to all of them, but we will try. So answering to the question regarding the uh, resistance, so they are evolving. So in case of, in case of bacteria which are uh, getting uh, in uh, this or other way uh, resistance against uh, antibiotics, the same uh, way the resistance is getting by, by uh, by against um, uh, bacteriophages and also bacteriophages are life organisms so they are also evolving they are also mutating they are also changing uh, especially especially when there is a, a lysogenic uh, trials or uh, also in lytic trials which can uh, lead to, to to changes of genetic material in uh, in uh, bacteriophages but in case of, uh, in case of uh, resistance, we have some, I think, I believe, good approach uh, from uh, our side. We put it in our product, uh, not only one bacteriophage against Salmonella enteritis, but two. Against Tifimurium, two. And uh, against uh, Gallinarum, two. So they, they have no chance to develop the resistance against both bacteriophages because uh, those two different bacteriophages 
uh, have uh, dif uh, different uh, points of attachment and different uh, genetic materials, which uh, it's impossible for the bacteria to, to in short in short period to develop uh, resistance. So uh, yes, it is possible in the nature, but very it needs to have a very long time to, to do it. Thank you, Dr. Marek. Uh, so as Dr. Randa said, the next, next question is by Dr. Prajapati. He says, are bacteriophages effective for systematic bacterial infection? If yes, then what about immunity against the bacteriophages? Uh, bacteriophages are, you know, very common in the, in the environment, inside and outside organisms. So they are uh, still, so they are viruses. So they are external um, um, composition, so they are treated by, by uh, like, uh, uh, let's say, external antigens. Uh, in our researches, we found out that there is, uh, and not only ours, but uh, also other um, scientific uh, uh, universities, scientific uh, uh, documents is saying that uh, bacteriophages can interact with the interleukin system uh, of uh, 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 starting or depressing the immune response to the uh, to the to the particular antigens. So, in, uh, from one side, uh, they can block or they can hide from the immune system, and from other side, they can stimulate a non-specific uh, immune uh, system to to be as a first, let's say, tool to fight uh, against the infection. So, uh, uh, in case of systemic infections. Uh, there are some um, uh, scientific reports showing that uh, uh, bacteriophage, if I understand you uh, right, Dr. Padepati, uh, they can cross uh, in some percentage of the dose, they can cross barrier blood intestine and go into blood system to the every internal organ they, they, they can reach with the blood. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I believe that it needs to have a, a bit longer or maybe a different dose of, uh, uh, of the treatment in this case. But yes, it is possible uh, to treat uh, bacterial infection. We found out some uh, in vivo trials, uh, in vitro trials also that uh, our bacteriophages uh, administered uh, orally. Um, uh, were found out also in blood and internal organs. So yes, it is possible. Uh, so the next question, uh, just a quick update, guys. We don't want to take more of your time than what we asked for. So we just have, uh, we'll take for more questions for just five minutes and then we won't miss out on the fun session towards the end. So uh, I don't I worry about it. I believe yeah. I believe that uh, we will collect the rest, remaining the questions, and uh, come uh, and we will answer, let's say, offline for the, for this, and we will send to all uh, participants uh, with the prepared uh, answers for this. I yes, we will surely answer each and every questions and uh, send it to everyone. Uh, okay, so four more questions, okay, and we will shortly finish. Okay. Yes? So, how okay, to so preserve bacteriophages? The next uh, question from Six Pro: How to preserve bacteriophages? Uh, I don't know what is uh, behind this question, but I can tell you that uh, first uh, uh, researches and uh, uh, first products uh, uh, containing bacteriophages were suffering because of the, uh, especially preservation, also st uh, stability of the product. Our products uh, gained uh, very recently two year uh, expiry date, which we guarantee that they are still uh, positive, they are still working. So um, it's our, part of our uh, patented uh, technology. Uh, it is possible to preserve bacteriophages. Uh, it is possible to have them uh, at high quality for uh, more than two years. So yes, it is possible. I know that some products which were across India were su suffering because a very short period of uh, shelf life. It was around uh, three or six months, if I believe. So uh, yeah, I understand this question if it uh, lies behind. Yeah. And uh, yeah, next question from Dr. Renard. Do you think that the specificity of bacteria can be a problem in the field condition? Yes. 
uh, but I believe that uh, we are just on the beginning on the road. Uh, I mean that we focused on the developing the product against Salmonella. We shortly, and uh, Dr. Randas, please, uh, please uh, add a uh, few words from, from your side. We are shortly preparing to, to launch a product against E. coli. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Randas? Yeah, so, sir, uh, Dr. Anandi, sir, thank you for your question. So, the problem, this trial has been uh, taken place uh, in Kolkata, and uh, we are trying, actually, this product is already tried in European condition, uh, US condition, but we wanted to test it in the Indian condition because, you know, Indian condition is absolutely different from other conditions. And then, uh, whatever we are trying, that should work in Indian condition, probably by a month or so, we'll be ready with the E. solution, and that would be, and as for Dr. Marek's and you know the protein's uh, junction that India should be free from E. coli. <laughs> if that happens, so that could be a wonderful achievement, I would say. Because uh, e. coli is bigger problem as per perceptions of the doctors, as per as per the, the uh, actual happening in the field. So people they are worried about E. coli. Hopefully, this should be a permanent solution in coming. Future. And a question from Professor Sika. Hello, my friend. Uh, my suggestion, your product Bafazal can be positioned as oral vaccine, uh, and what is our opinion? Uh, yes, it can be considered as a kind of uh, vaccine because uh, we have some theory which we are now checking. Uh, imagine the situation when uh, bacteriophage is killing the salmonella bacteria. So when it's killed, the, the bacteria remains uh, act like an antigen in, uh, in um, uh, organism. So organism, immune system of the organism is starting to produce an, uh, immunoglobulins against those antigens. So this is the same way as a vaccine is working against. So uh, yes, it can be considered, but we are facing... To, uh, yeah, it's time to pray. I know. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's um, more problematic with the registration to of the product with such a use. Uh, the, the easiest way it was to 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 do it with the fidatitif. Any other, uh, let's say, category of the products uh, pushes on us uh, a lot of more effort to to deliver to the registration authorities to have the possibility to have this product as a disinfectant or the vaccine. So uh, I don't know. It's still open. I think. Uh, for the Thank you, Doctor Marek. Marek, uh, we will answer this question uh, doc to Doctor Sika separately. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think uh, there is a question from Doctor Abhijit Mishra. So can you read that uh, question? Uh, which 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 uh, which Dr. question? Mishra from Kolkata. Uh, I the can't last see one. this. Uh, it's the last one. The last one. Uh, oh, if no, you use bacteriophages without water sanitation, then how we can prevent water bondage during the time of the bacteriophage uh, treatment? Uh, bacteriophages are very tough uh, products, but they are, cannot survive the the working solution uh, or the base solution in the in the in the water tank. So we advise to not to administer it in the same water when you administer the disinfectant or uh, acidifiers. But for example, we tested uh, we tested bacteriophages in front of the very high uh, concentration of chlorine, and guess what? They survived and they were very active uh, still. So. Uh, we can say that there is a possibility to use uh, still disinfection, but uh, our suggestion is not to put this into the base uh, uh, solution uh, during, the, during the preparation of the administration. So it is possible. With the waterborne, uh, I believe that we should approach compl in complex ways. So uh, first of all, identify the problem and identify the source of the problem because if it's still from the water, why it's in the water? Because of uh, I don't know, cross contamination, maybe some other stuff. You need to, 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 to look at this in this way, I think. And when bacteriophages, uh, sooner or later, as, as I said, we are expanding the portfolio of the bacteria that we can fight with. So, uh, 
let's give us some time uh, and we will come back to you and we will have uh, maybe solution for everything who knows i think i think uh, puja that's uh, the final question and then we can answer them separately with email or something yes. so then let's let's move to the fun uh, activity yeah when i was thinking the same uh, maybe if we have we have had too much of technical now let's move to the fun session so now uh i'll just quickly tell you about the fun session that we have so we will be asking five questions with have multiple choice answers so you just have to uh, choose the correct one <coughs> i'm sorry uh you put the answers in the chat box in the format that has been displayed on the uh, screen so uh, just an example maybe the first uh, first question answer is a <coughs> you need help from agda no i'm sorry i'm sorry i was just i i guess my throat was not good uh so uh i hope i was clear uh yeah. just have like five questions we have multiple choices you just um, put the answers in the chat box and here we go so please kindly um answer give your answer to the chat box giving stating number of question and the answer that think you think is correct so what is the prize for that priya <laughs> because the quiz winner should get the prize we yeah, have interesting amazon vouchers coming their way whoever answers the first five the quickest first five please give all the answers in one message like this b c d a b like this right yes all the answers in one message please and uh, in few minutes you will get the correct answers Please only put kindly. the words in sequence like please uh, yes please kindly give all the answers in one chat message the sequence of letters yeah only to put 1 2 3 4 just a b c d a something like that you can put it like yes this is exactly that is how we do it so we will wait uh two more minutes for everybody to have a chance to give their answers and we will i'm excited to know the five, top five <laughs> to get the best answers uh one more minute and we will uh we will close the um the questionnaire and we will show you the right answers and uh and let everybody know who the winner is Okay I think uh time up right I think the time is up we can check the answers So, so A C B C D right A B C 
sorry, A C B C B. A C B C B. So there is. Uh, so how many are correct? Correct yeah. answer from Dr. Mahendra. Wow, clap for you. Dr. Kishore. Wait. I can see Ujwal Dalal. Thank you, Ujwal Ji. Congratulations. Um, so you are. Kadam. Jai Guru Kadam. Great. Kadam Sahib, Namaskar. I think you name everyone who are right, if you can. So, I have a private message from Rajaram, and he is correct. A C B C B. Okay. Okay, so we will contact you in order to deliver you um, your prize. Congratulations, and. Uh, once again, thank you for joining our webinar. This is the first one. We will be inviting you shortly for the next one. And um, Dr. Obi Bilisna is also correct. Who? Dr. Obi Bilisna. Abhijit Mishra, sir. Great. You put down uh, Puja, Dr. Abhijit Mishra, sir. We yes. have saved the chat and we will double check uh, after the after the webinar. So uh, we will not miss anyone. Great, great, great. great. Consolation and prize to everybody. Wow, Dr. Sika, consolation <laughs> prize. To everybody, just to motivate for next time. Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir, Sajan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Dr. everyone, thank Professor you. Sika will think about this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sika. So, uh, well, so done, let me, let, well done, Well <laughs> done. Let, let, let me conclude. Uh, so thank you, participants, for uh, your uh, active uh, involvement in this uh, session. Thank you, the organizers. Thank you, Dr. Marek and my team and uh, the veterans we, who attended this uh, seminar, like Dr. Prajapati, Dr. Anandi, Dr. Sika, and everybody. So that you are you are our strength and you stand behind us. This is a novel technology and this is going to change the world. As I said, you as 2020 is going to be a, a better face world. And as our equalized product is coming and already we are established in the company, so this will be an ultimate solution as an alternate to the antibiotics. And uh, coming future, as a food safety is increasing after coronavirus, this is going to be a win-win situation for everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you again for participation. We will show the record. We will share the recording shortly, and we will also get all the questions that you have asked on chat, and uh, we will send you all the answers. So everybody is satisfied. Great, great uh, program. Thank you thank so you. much. Congrats to Proteon and Vetphase. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, everyone. Right. Doctor Marek. Have a good okay. afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>